Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel and welcome to our tiny home. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your very own headboard. Yep, that's right. Do it yourself. This is a quick tutorial. My voice just cracked. This is a quick tutorial to show you just how easy it is to do this yourself. Let's do it. The best part about this project is there is no sewing required. The items that you will need are a piece of thin wood cut to the dimensions that you would like for your headboard, quilt batting, staples, staple gun, furniture nails, scissors, hammer, measuring tape, fabric to cover the wood and the batting. Okay, so I'm going to make a headboard for the tiny house. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the batting. I got this at a yard sale for free. I love deals. Cut it to the size of the board. Make sure it's even. You kind of want to be able to wrap it around the edges. It gives you softer edges instead of hard edges. So you just overlap a little bit. And then when we wrap the fabric around, that will make a difference. I kind of feel like it should be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to double this up. So I wanted it kind of thick, so that when I nail these studs in, that it shows the little divots in the fabric. I want it even on both sides. Next step is the fabric. I want to make sure that I have enough to where it also overlaps over the wood. Okay, so you're not going to trim this until you have it all stapled on. Okay, so on the front, to measure it figure out how far apart you want to put your studs so first I'm going to find the middle so 22 is the middle I'm going to mark it ideally I want to use fabric marker because it comes off probably not a sharpie but I can't find my fabric marker so I'm using a sharpie so I just put a little mark it, it blends in pretty well okay so that's my middle ring from the middle trying to figure out the distance that I want for each of these. And if I did every five inches, I would do one here, 10, 15, and then 20. And then the same on the other side. And then I would do the same thing, but I would measure this way from the middle. So I'm going to do my first one in the middle. I might as well mark that. It's really hard to not hit your thumb. All right, so that's my middle. So I should have the same distance from here to here and from here to here. Okay, so now, since I've got my starting point, if I don't get these lined up, it's gonna drive my husband crazy. Me, not so much. Okay. So I didn't put this in my original supply list, but it just dawned on me how much help this would be. So I'm going to use this instead because I really need this straight. Okay, so I measured um, from here to here. Uh, normally you would put studs here. I'm actually going to leave this one alone. I'm just going to mark it. I'm going to do one on this corner, one on this corner, and one on this corner um, because that's where I'm going to screw it into the wall. And then I will take uh, one of these and I will super glue it over the screw. Um, but that's how I'm going to attach it to the wall. 
Uh, some people use Velcro to attach it to the wall. Some people use, you know, some sort of like cement or glue. And I just want to screw it into the wall. So let's go hang it up. I have always wanted to make one of these headboards and I finally got the opportunity when we were decorating the tiny house. I am so happy with how it turned out. I had everything I needed for this project and it didn't cost me a thing. It was very simple to do and I really hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell because we would love for you to be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching.